This is Prince Magnum coming to you from Washington, Missouri. Um, if you're looking at this video right now, uh, this is August the 7th, 2014. Today is my 35th birthday. Uh, if you will, uh, you know, it's a, it's a real soggy August the 7th. And uh, earlier I think I tried to do, earlier I tried to do a video uh, about, uh, about the rainy weather, uh, about driving safe in it and everything. And, uh, I don't think I'll, I don't think I'll use that video. I, I mean, I like it, but I don't like it, you know. Um, also, on top of that, if you've viewed any of the other stuff that I'll be posting soon, uh, August the 7th is also, the ha not only is it my birthday, but it's the halfway marker. Uh, it, so, uh, between that, you know, between getting another year of continuous sobriety in the program of Alcoholics Anonymous. Uh, so, right now, as of today, I'm also eight and a half years sober. Um, Today, uh, this video really uh, is uh, pointed towards our government. Um, initially, I, I started to do a video and I was very angry with our government uh, because of some of the things that are going on up there in Washington, D.C. But uh, I decided that I, I don't really think I need to take an angry approach to this, uh, you know, because, uh, because there's, enough, there's enough anger and hatred in this world as it is. We don't need any more coming from me. But... Uh, the big problem right now is our economy is in a shambles. Uh, unemployment rate is is atrocious. Uh, homeless people are everywhere. Heck, uh, you know, in the program, uh, not too long ago, we've been actually, uh, you know, we actually tried to help a guy who was homeless uh, in the, in recovery and everything. Um, so, uh, you know, what's the problem? Well, the problem's real simple, Washington D.C. Uh, you're spending all this money overseas and. Uh, you know, trying to fix a uh, fix up these countries, Iraq, Afghanistan, places like that, trying to weed out terrorism, and, and that's fine and dandy. I, 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 you know, but the problem with that is, is uh, what about home? What about home? What about here? You know, why aren't we fixing the problems here? And uh, you know, that's all fine and well. You know, helping other people, and I'm all about helping people, but you know, we kind of need to clean our own house first, as it says in the AA Big Book. You know. Uh, uh, you can't give away something you haven't got, and uh, we really, we really, you know, we really don't have the money to be spending on other countries. Uh, so, you know, we need to really focus on home right now. Uh, the the big thing that I, I keep hearing is uh, go to college, go to college, go to college. Well, a lot of us don't have money to go to college. I know you guys offer grants and all this great stuff, and you know, people can go to college. And, and that sort of thing. But if everybody's a computer technician, uh, who's going to build? Who's going to build our buildings? Who's going to uh, fix our roads? Uh, you know, or like me, who was in nursing for 13 years, who's going to go and you know that sort of thing? You know, we need diversity. Um, so you know, you have all these homeless people. Uh, many of them don't have a trade, uh, and uh, in, you know, they don't even have a, a, a roof over their head. So um, I have a I have a suggestion, uh, and maybe you guys in Washington will take this seriously. Um, the you know uh, we have all these uh, all these uh, homeless people who don't have a trade, they don't have any place to live, and I think I have a solution that will uh, take care of that problem and be at a minimal cost to the taxpayers, anyways. So that's uh, you know to me I think it's a win-win situation. I've had this idea in my head for years. Uh, I'm just now getting to uh, make a video about this, and I'm hoping I will be taken seriously. Um, and uh, maybe you know, uh, maybe anybody who's not a politician, uh, you know, will urge uh, their uh, their congressman in their state to maybe uh, to maybe look at this video or something to that effect. Um, my solution is really simple. Um, Basically, you uh, you take these homeless people or people who don't have much of a, an education or don't have a, you know, don't have a job, you know, whatever the case may be. Don't spend all this time. Well, if you make X amount of money, we, you know, we can't. No, that's that's not the way to go here. But you know, and don't even worry if they've got a high school education or not. Don't worry about that. Take these people who don't have a trade, you know, uh, and that sort of thing. You know, need need uh, need work and all that. And you start building houses, cheap houses, you know, 
something something that'll keep a roof over somebody's head you know something that like that and uh, when you start building these houses obviously it's going to need carpenters plumbers electricians okay you get you start getting these people to build houses while they're building them they're getting on the job training they now have a trade okay they now have a trade as they learn their trade building houses house is built who's going to live in it now the homeless people that you just put to work they can buy the house back from you and sell it to them at cost okay you sell it to them at cost and then, just then, you start clearing out the homeless problem. People now have jobs. They have a trade. And the nice benefit of it is, you take these homeless people, give them jobs and things like that. Now, and they're buying them back at cost. It didn't cost the taxpayers that much. The upside of it is, is now they are tax paying citizens they can contribute we can start looking and we might be able to start chiseling away maybe just a little bit at that deficit that is so out of hand the win-win situation the other upside of this is now that you you've done this you also start that money starts going into the economy itself the economy gets better because now they have now there's more people who have money and can start buying things the economy gets better it's just a win-win situation now I'm sure you guys in Washington DC uh, not Washington Missouri but Washington DC it's got this is for you guys uh, can probably come up with a you know can probably come up and take my idea and come up with something even better than that but this is just a suggestion you know this is just a suggestion uh, just something that, you know, a knucklehead like me sitting here in Washington, Missouri can come up with. And, uh, you know, that sort of thing. Uh, you know, to me, uh, I think this is a win-win situation to help out our home. Because this is our home. You guys live here too. Let's worry about home. You know, uh, you know, and... and I, I want you to know that I'm a patriot at heart. Um, I'm a patriot at heart, and uh, you know I want to see uh, America get back to being number one. You know, uh, and unfortunately, we're not spending enough time getting us back to number one. We're too busy worrying about other countries, and we don't need to worry about other countries. This is why all these other countries are doing much better. You know, uh, and the beautiful thing about this is, is that you know these houses would be built in America and I think being built in America should mean something so uh, take a look at this maybe you can uh, maybe you can do something with this idea maybe you can make it even better you know let's start worrying about home and let's stop worrying about what's going on thousands of miles away because I really don't care what's going on a thousand miles away I care about what's going on right here in my neck of the woods um, as a famous cartoonist once said the most uh, important place on the battlefield is where you're at and uh, I think the battlefield here at home of combating homelessness poverty uh, things like that is more important than what's happening across a great big giant pond so take my idea I don't want any credit I don't want any credit I don't want anything in return I, I don't I, I don't want anything I just want to see my home get better so if you guys are as much of patriots as I am I hope you can use this uh, please by all means uh, you know take my idea and run with it you know because uh, I love my country uh, above all you know I was born here I was raised here and I love my country very much so with that being said even you guys in Washington I mean this to you too if nobody has told you that they love you, Prince Magnum does. God bless you and have a happy 24. Thank you.